morning YouTubers, it's Sunday the 5th of November 2017 and I wanted to show you my Butterfly Lullaby Soaps. I'm going to have a meeting next year with our local independent council which is really really exciting. I'll tell you why it's exciting because I'm going to be talking about Japanese knotweed which is the most hated plant on this planet. The reason it's so hated is that Lots of people don't know about its benefits. It's a herbal plant. Timothy Lee Scott wrote a book called Invasive Plant Medicine. Uh, Stephen Buna, I believe it is, uses this plant to heal Lyme disease. And it's just got, you know, the Chinese have used this plant for hundreds of years as medicine. So it's really important that we promote this plant. It could be used to create electricity. The really, really exciting news is that the meeting with the Independent Council is about creating a cottage industry for families to earn from home. Children want one parent at home. They need one parent at home. So if we can help families have one parent at home and give children what they need, that's going to make me really happy. My daughter Melody absolutely loves and thrives having me at home. You know, it's, it's been so important for her and they need that stability. So here are the soaps. All the same ingredients. One leaf, which is like a medium soap, which is going to be easy to post. These are a bit bigger. We've got the butterfly soap and the bee soap and there is a dragonfly soap. Now I've given my neighbour the dragonfly soap. She loves my soaps. I give them to her for free because they're so kind to me. They paint our side of the fence every couple of years and keep it nice. And you know, we had a problem with our house where we were bad in the sold, where it was actually flooding. We didn't know we had a blocked off stream down the back garden and we didn't know we had Japanese knotweed. And that's why it's so important for me to turn this negative into a positive because people out there um, they think that their houses are not worth money because they've got this plant in their garden and they're so wrong because this plant can be used to create jobs. The good thing about these soaps is they're it's a natural soap. It's an I've used an organic base and you know I've used Japanese knotweed, which is resveratrol, which is anti-aging. So it's a lovely soap to use. So here we have Japanese knotweed legend soap. Now this soap is being sold in Japan. Just look how much it costs. £7.24 for a small bar of soap. That's an expensive bar of soap. So what you have to ask yourself is... Why are we getting rid of this plant? It's obviously got amazing properties in it, which is why it's so expensive. Here we have the extremely expensive face cream. It's being sold in Harrods and John Lewis, and it costs £68. So what's the ingredients in this? As you can see, Japanese knotweed. Japanese knotweed to refine skin's appearance, softening the look of fine lines and wrinkles to reveal younger, more radiant looking complexion. Because Japanese knotweed is anti aging. Good morning, YouTubers. It's Sharon J. Bainbridge here from Butterfly Lullaby, and it is the 28th of October 2017. And I just want to do a small book review on this book by Timothy Lee Scott called Invasive Plant Medicine. This is my favourite book. I absolutely adore this book and I want to thank Google and YouTube for sharing this information free on the internet and allowing me to find it. I mean, I've made so many things with this plant, it's amazing. But what I just want to say to you is that I like to turn every negative into a positive. I like to find a positive in bad things. 
because there is a positive, you know, and that's the way we need to think. It's important to talk about things, share information, and just, you know, try and create a better world. So anyway, I'm going to read um, a part of this book to you about Japanese knotweed. Now, if you go to page 223 on Japanese knotweed, you'll see this insert here, and I'm just going to read it out to you. Japanese knotweed's abundance of vitamins, minerals and antioxidants help the body to process numerous toxins and cancers. One component, resveratrol, is produced in knotweed as greater concentrations than any other plant in the world with its anti-aging virtues. When I use Japanese knotweed to make a really lovely organic face oil and people tell me that I don't look 51. Um, I also use it for smoothies. I put it in a distilled water because resveratrol is very big at the moment if you do your research. I'm going to add some information to my blog as well about this so you can see everything you need to know that I've actually found on Japanese knotweed. The speaker is going to be Tim Scott. Tim's going to give us a different perspective on things, a different way that um, you know we may think out of the box and look at, although for you it's not out of the box, it's absolutely mainstream, on you know how we're going to look at things and, and take that different type of perspective. Uh, Tim is an acupuncturist, herbalist, and writer with a master's degree in traditional Chinese medicine and undergraduate studies in psychology and general health science. He runs a private practice in Vermont and gives workshops on Chinese herbalism, native medicinal plant cultivation, and the benefits of invasive plants. His most recent book, Invasive Plant Medicine, The Ecological Benefits and Healing Abilities of Invasives, explores how plants originally considered harmful to the environment actually restore Earth's ecosystems and possess powerful healing properties. Tim? Yes, I am here and asked to speak here to offer this different perspective on invasives. Hi, I'm Timothy Scott, an author of Invasive Plant Medicine. I'm here to talk about my favorite plant here, Japanese knotweed. This is really my favorite plant, and it's the plant that so it instigated this whole journey into writing a book. And I got to know Japanese knotweed many years ago when I first started treating Lyme disease and learned from Stephen Buhner that this was the most important herb to use in the treatment of Lyme disease. Since then, I've learned many things about the plant, not only how it's helping humans heal from disease, but also how it helps rehabilitate lands where it lives and helps clean the environment for us and helps protect these areas that have been disturbed by human development and pollution. So it's a very important plant and there's a good reason why it grows here and flourishes where it does. Oh,